Hi all. In this video, let's learn few points about JavaScript. So uh, I will be covering all these points described here. Why we get banana as an output for the input here, what we have given, and about the number dot min value and about math dot min greater than math dot max. So let's jump in and learn about them. So initially, first start with the banana. Understanding the banana output. Whenever we give the input like this, so banana plus plus b a plus plus a plus a then we'll be getting banana as output so let's learn and uh, let's understand how it works internally so we'll just decouple what happening in the step by step so initially we'll have b and a so now we'll be getting both our strings and we are using plus so we'll be getting string concatenation so we'll be having here b a like this so this is fine so later on we'll be have here, if you understand, there are two pluses here, two pluses followed by a string, a. So let's see. So this plus will be acting as a concatenation. So the other plus here, what we have seen is, so it will be like this. So it will be like this. So what it understands, JavaScript, how it understands this. So usually we use plus symbol. It, it is like a parse int, a shortcut for the parse int. So we use the plus symbol for the shortcut for the parsing. So it means we are trying to convert a string number into a integer number. For example, if you give something like a plus and a 10 string in a string, it results into 10. So this is how it works. So we use plus symbol, uh, same as parsing. It will try to convert this string value into a numeric value. But here, if you, you need to observe, this is a string. So it can't convert this string value into the numeric value. This is the reason it returns not a number. So in the next step, what happens? We'll be having like this BA. And later on, we'll be getting not a number. Not a number. Because we are trying to convert a string into a number, which can't be possible. So we'll be getting not a number. So we'll be getting like this. So now a string plus not a number. So it will be, it will concatenate this. So in the next step, what happens, we'll be having like this, B A not a number. And later on, uh, the third A is as usual. So it's like a straightforward string concatenation. So this is the reason why we get the banana as a output for the above input. So we, you need to understand how it works at this point. So then you can uh, easily understand what exactly, how exactly this output came. So fine. The first point uh, I think we have discussed, hope you understand. So going to the second point. So usually number dot min value, what does this, it, it means. So number dot min value means in other programming languages, let's uh, show you uh, in other programming languages like C++. So if, if you understand the C++, so let me show you in the C++, or in other any programming languages, if you see here, so this is the max value and this is the minimum value. So, but unlike other programming languages, JavaScript is bit, bit different from that. So if you observe here, number dot min value, we should not think that this number dot min value is the smallest, I mean, uh, it, it will return the smallest, positive number, it will return the smallest positive number, not the smallest negative number. So we need to understand this. So this is the reason if you go here and uh, you do like this, I mean, uh, I'm trying to compare this number like a uh, minimum value is greater than zero. It will will get true here because here the minimum value is not the smallest negative number as, as for other programming languages. So this is for C++ or other programming languages like Python also, this would happen. The minimum value will be less than zero and zero would be greater than minimum value and zero would be the less than maximum value. So this happens usually in the other programming languages. But in JavaScript, if you observe the number dot min value is greater than zero. So you need to understand it returns the smallest posture number, not the smallest negative number. We need to understand this. So coming to the third point, math dot min is greater than math dot max. Why? Why this is this is happening? So let's understand this. So we'll show you here directly. Directly. 
so if you observe if i give math dot max and i need to provide some of the inputs like this list of parameters if i provide that this math dot min will give me the result which number is the greatest number in the same way math dot min also will be the same way it works in the same way but it gives the minimum number in the list of the parameters so what if if i am not providing any value here so math so if you observe the math dot max value it is returning minus infinity value in the same way if you observe math dot min value if i am not providing any parameter it will return infinity so this is the reason so for math dot max it is returning minus infinity for math dot min it is returning plus infinity so this is the reason if you see math dot min if you give math dot min is greater than math dot max then it will return true so because math dot min is a positive infinity value whereas math dot max is the negative infinity value this is the reason when you give math dot min is greater than math dot max it will return true so these are some of the interesting points we need to learn and understand in the javascript so usually what we do, what we understand uh, everyone will think that math dot max is a greater value and math dot min would be the less value but it is different it works different here so hope you understand these points in javascript thanks for watching